Hi everyone, I'd like to show you this really interesting tool that Brightspace has. Uh, it's called Video Note, and it allows us to uh, create an environment that's more like a face to face environment. And it'll create these little videos that you can insert into your discussion post, especially your replies. Um, and it gives you about three minutes of time to create these little messages. And this is what kind of what it looks like inside a discussion post. So let me just go ahead and show you how to do that. So, you know, for discussions, you'd go to coursework and then discussions. Okay. And let's just say this is the thread we're interested in. We'll just click on the thread. Um, here's the post. Um, okay. And we want to reply to this thread. We'll just select reply to thread. And then here we would normally type in our message, but instead of doing that, we are going to select this icon right here, and it's the insert stuff button. We'll click on it and then navigate to add video note. We'll select that, and then we'll select the parameters for our video note. So I need to change my camera and my microphone is good and you can select remember this decision if you want to and then allow that'll pop up a, a little viewing window uh, and then when you're ready to record you can select new recording and then it will just start recording and you can do your presentation and then stop recording so now it'll start playing back automatically and you want to be a little bit careful because if you stop the recording too soon, it will cut off your last word. And I think this is a really useful tool for public speaking in general because I've noticed a lot of weird quirks um, in my presentations. I use my hands a lot. I tend to look around the room a lot even though I'm not really um, talking to anybody. And sometimes if I'm really nervous, I start fluttering my eyelids. So I think it's a really good tool, um, not just for that, you know, face-to-face -face interaction, but to improve our presentation skills. Okay, and then select next, and then we can give it a title, and then just select next. So now it will begin to render the video, but you can go ahead and insert it. It usually takes maybe two or three times the length of the actual video, so ours was really short, so it should pop up pretty quickly. Uh, and you can even post it before it's ready. So we can come down here and just post. And there it is, so that's what it'll look like. And of course, the student doesn't have to, you know, go off to YouTube to look at it. Uh, they can just click right here and the video will start playing. Okay. All right. I hope this video was helpful. I'll talk to you later. Bye.